Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Document Filters Features Preview. I'm Nabi, the product owner for Document Filters, and we'll be going over some enhancements in the 24.2 release. So let's quickly go over what we'll be seeing today. To start us off, we'll see the exciting and powerful functionality of the new document comparison capabilities, followed by the ability to extract accessibility information from Microsoft Office documents. We'll then go over a couple of community-inspired enhancements with those being an enhanced test rack OCR integration and a new file type categorization. So I'm really excited about this new feature and I've actually been using it in my normal day to day. And that's our new document comparison capabilities. So document filters now provides the ability to compare text-based files at the document, page, or element level to find the differences. So if you want to compare an entire document or just a paragraph, you have that ability. It doesn't matter what file format is used, as long as it's one of the over 100 different HD formats we support. We'll soon look at an example where we're actually comparing across file formats. So the comparison isn't affected by page breaks or pagination differences, and it gives the option to highlight the changes, as well as exclude aspects of the data, such as formatting, headers and footers, and certain fields. So let's look at our first example of the document comparison. What we're comparing here is a Word and text documents that got converted to PDFs. Just a little side note, if you actually look at the content of the documents, you can read about the advantages about using doc filters for AI solutions. All right, back to document comparison. So for this example, we chose to ignore the formatting differences and the headers and footers. So we're primarily looking at the differences in the text content of the body of the documents. We've highlighted the changes on the documents and we can see that some of the words were changed and some words were even removed. So I'll also call out that due to the layout differences, the text is not laid out the same on each document, but it does not impact the comparison. So for this example, we started with the same Word document for both documents with the only difference being that the one on the right has some headings that aren't bolded. We've chosen to account for formatting in this comparison, and we can see where those differences are. So document filters strives to extract every piece of information from documents, and that includes accessibility information from Microsoft Office documents. This not only assists in extraction, but allows for accessible HD documents to be created. So the supported output documents includes HTML5, classic HTML, XML, and PDF. The key thing to remember is that the output file needs to have accessibility enabled. So for HTML, that means that the HD HTML accessibility option is set to on. For PDF, the PDF version needs to be set to PDFA 1A, or the PDF tagged option needs to be set to on. Let's look at an example. Here we have an image in a Word document that contains alt text. We're going to run it through doc to text and convert it to an HTML file. We can see that it added the alt tag with our alt text. The first community inspired enhancement we'll go over is the enhanced Tesseract OCR integration support. So document filters has never provided OCR functionality itself but it allows consumers to either bring their own OCR engine or use the bundled version of Tesseract. Due to the doc filters support of over 15 platforms and architectures, updating the bundled version of Tesseract isn't currently an option. However, the doc filters community should be able to use newer versions of Tesseract once that better suit their needs. So this had already been possible by providing a separate OCR engine to doc filters and writing the integration but we've now made it even easier. All that's needed is for consumers to specify the executable path to a build of Tesseract. DocFilters will then use the built-in Tesseract integration to perform the communication between DocFilters and Tesseract. The next community-inspired enhancement is the file type categorization. It's always been possible to identify and get information about file types, we've now made it even easier to know the type of application that would have created that file. So using the same IGR get former format attribute method that's existed, 
it now includes the option to get the file type category. This can be anything from text to spreadsheet to archive with a full list available in the documentation. So we've now seen two community inspired enhancements with this release and even more in past releases. So we'd love to hear from all of you about what you need added to doc filters, the pro problems you're looking to solve and the goals you want to meet. So please reach out when you believe document filters doesn't meet your, ne your current needs or your future needs. And we'll look to, to see what we can do to help. So that's all we had for this video. And I hope you enjoyed this discussion about some of the new features that we're bringing to you with this release. Please check out our blog post and the link on the screen for more information on this release and our documentation on how you can implement this new functionality. You can find more information about document filters at the locations on the screen by searching for Highland document filters. GitHub contains sample code for using doc filters, as well as packages for the various platforms. If you use NuGet, you can easily integrate doc filters from there. YouTube has demo videos, as well as release preview videos from past releases. You can find doc filters on the AWS Partner Network or find more details and resources at highland.com. Thanks for listening.